My name is Latana Satara. I'm a sophomore here at Cabrini University and I'm an international business major with a minor in finance. My experience here at Cabrini with financial aid is that they were able to help me with all the questions I had regarding any financial aid questions, whether it be about loans or whether it be about state grants or anything else like that. So I will have two student loans when I graduate. They include the unsubsidized and subsidized di um, direct loans from the government. 99% of students receive financial aid funding. And what you have to remember is that any sort of funding that the student receives that goes toward the cost of his or her education is considered financial aid. So whether that's um, a merit-based academic scholarship that the student's receiving or need-based grant funding, um, that's all considered financial aid funding. So for a four-year private school like Cabrini University, the average debt that a student would be graduating with, federal student loan debt, is right around 30000 So that's the average for a four-year private nonprofit. Um, here at Cabrini, our average is a little bit lower. So the average that a student is leaving Cabrini with in federal loan funding is about 27,000. So it's a little under the national average, which is good for our students. My name is Maggie Javitt. I am a senior criminology and sociology major. I know I have a bunch of different types of aid from um, both the college and the state and loans. Um, so I know like those are loans I'm going to have to pay back. The standard plan that most borrowers choose is a 10-year repayment plan. And if you are a student graduating with about $30,000 in federal student loan debt um, on the standard repayment plan, that works out to monthly payments of about $300, $350 a month. And my loans totaled about $23,000, $24,000. And so uh, trying to figure out how to pay that back over a 10-year span made it very real. <laughs> but when I'm 30 years old and I'm still paying back loans, um, I'm hoping that, you know, it's not going to be, uh, you know, what the majority of my expenses are going to, because I know some people really struggle with paying back their student loans and that kind of makes life hard for them. So, I'm kind of like prepared to be prepared. So definitely make sure that you're on the best payment plan for you. Um, there's a lot of income-based repayment plans that definitely I think students should take advantage of, you know, especially once they're first starting their careers, you know, because as they're working these entry-level positions, if they have an income that's not allowing them to afford maybe the standard repayment plan, make sure that they're on the income-based repayment plan because the income-based repayment plan um, will calculate a certain monthly payment for the student based on his or his or her income at that time. So it can be a more affordable option. Feel free to ask any questions, um, which would be my advice um, to any new students who are looking at financial aid. College can be really expensive. Trying to find the right fit or niche um, for your next four years is also really important. Um, feel free to ask any questions. Um, there's never not too many questions or any dumb questions that you think. Even the simplest ones can be also the trickiest ones. Um, I feel that asking so many questions can thoroughly put you in the right spot and also seeing comparisons between whether you can commute or reside on campus can also be a helpful one too. I would recommend that when students come to college, don't have their parents just do all their financial aid for them, like be involved in the process. Because now like I'm faced with, you know, all this stuff at the end and I'm like, well, what's this? How does this work? And I feel like if I had been more involved in like filing my FAFSA or applying for loans um, every year so instead of just letting my dad do it, um, I feel like I'd be more knowledgeable about the process and how it works because I know some of my friends they filed their FAFSA not their parents and they you know know more about it than I do so I would recommend for um, underclassmen and incoming students to be involved in that process so that way when it does come time for them to pay it back they kind of know what they're doing.